Hey everybody, what's up? It's Rob Dodson. We are here again at the Progressive Web App Summit. We are in kind of like the speaker ready room. This is where folks are hanging out in between their talks. I'm joined right now with Alex Russell, who is a software engineer on the Chrome team. Alex is sort of like uh, the, the progenitor of uh, Progressive Web Apps. Did I use that word correctly? Yeah. Okay, that felt good. Yeah. Uh, sort of like a creator of the sort of the, some of the concepts around progressive web apps. And I'm curious, Alex, for someone who is new to the topic of progressive web apps, can you tell us a little bit about what it means uh, for something to be one of these things? Like, is, is this like a hybrid app, or, or what is this exactly? Yeah, so unlike hybrid apps, which you kind of package up and put in a bundle and then distribute through a store, progressive web apps are just websites, except if you use them enough and if they meet specific quality criteria so that the browser knows that it would work well, say, offline or had good metadata for your home screen, once it meets that bar, the browser can start to treat that more like an app and you can start to opt in to having it or keeping it to your home screen, putting it in your apps list, that sort of thing. And so if I'm a business and I'm, I'm checking this out, like uh, what, is, what is sort of the, the motivating you know, use case for me to be like, all right, cool, let's, let's take our, our current thing and, and switch over to this model? So the model has a bunch of underlying tech below it. So you need to get TLS, so you have to have a secure site. Service workers are what enable offline and reliable performance and push notifications and a bunch of other really good modern web stuff. And once you have all of that and you put it all together, you can deliver an experience to users just through a link uh, that can rival native apps. And eventually, they can be on the home screen and be re-engaging just like native apps. And it's really working. The folks who are starting to build progressive web apps, even for browsers that don't support them, are seeing major gains. Like AliExpress, uh, really strong team. They just sort of stopped the world, and they turned their site into a progressive web app. And they saw a huge lift in engagement, even on iOS. So really investing in the mobile web experience is what this is about, but we give you the ability to actually get to app-like experiences on Android. And so, OK, I'm, I'm sold. Uh, I want to start doing this. What are some tools that I can use to start to transition over to this model? Uh, it's, a big, it's a big text app. Uh, but the hardest part so far for folks have been sort of verifying that you meet that engagement bar, that sort of quality bar for your app. Um, and there's a couple of tools that are helping now. If you check out the new applications panel in DevTools, in Canary, and Beta, in Chrome, uh, you'll see that there's a bunch of support for sort of getting all the information you need about your app uh, when you're doing live debugging. And also, there's a project called Lighthouse, which is in the Google Chrome organization on GitHub. And this is awesome because it gives you a, an extension and a command line tool that you can verify that you've met all of those criteria with, which is, which is pretty awesome. It saved me tons of time. Recommended. Right on. So we will include links to uh, all the tools that Alex mentioned down in the show notes. We've also got links to Alex's talk on the Chrome Developers YouTube channel uh, down there as well. Alex, thank you so much for, for being with us today uh, in sunny Amsterdam. Uh, I'm Rob Dodson from the PWA Summit. I'll see you around. <laughs>